what am I going to do with these things? Well, stick around and you'll find out. Hi guys, welcome back to Not For Nothing Homestead. I'm Ginger. Thank you for stopping by today. If you're new, welcome in. We hope that you'll like the content you find here and consider subscribing to our channel. Don't forget to hit that like button on your way out the door today. You're going to love this one. Okay, I want a book, guys, in a, give in a giveaway. In a giveaway. <laughs> Anyways, I'm leaving that in. I'm not cutting it out, okay? I Jam It Up June giveaway. Tony at Kettle Kitchen, thank you very much. And he had Tiffany with Mud Mascara as his sidekick. They did an awesome job, an awesome giveaway, and I won this book. Now, I got this book like three days ago, and look at all these tabs already. <laughs> if you get this book, you will not regret it. Uh, not sponsored by Ball or uh, Amazon or anything like that. I'm just saying, this book has got some great recipes in it. So I made one last night, and I'm going to show you that one. I'm about to make another one, and I'll bring you that video as well at a later time. But the one that I made last night, oh my gosh, I ate so much of it. It took me a while to go to sleep because I was on a sugar high. And uh, But anyways, it's really good. You're going to love this book if you get it. Go check out all those videos during Jam It Up June. Uh, some of those may be in here as well. I didn't even think about that. Um, but anyways, all right, so let's get to going and I'll show you what I did last night. So here we have five large peaches diced up with five cups of sugar, one box of sure gel, quarter cup of fresh squeezed lime juice, one teaspoon of lime zest, and two sprigs of rosemary to put in some cheesecloth. We're going to start by taking these peaches that I have roughly chopped and it says to take about uh, it's going to be two and a half pounds of fresh peaches about five large and I am going to mash them with a potato masher. Okay I pretty much got these mashed down. Now we're going to measure out four cups of the peaches. which is probably going to be all of it. Into a large stainless steel pot. We are going to turn this on. And we are going to stir in the peaches. Make sure we get all that goodness in there. And to that, we're going to add the lime zest. the lime juice, one pouch of pectin going in, and we have put our rosemary in some cheesecloth to make it easier to retrieve and we are going to add that in. We're going to bring this up to a rolling boil. Bringing all that up to a rolling boil and then once we get there we're going to boil it for one minute. And now we are going to add in the sugar. that sugar in there pretty well incorporated it looks really good I can see some bubbles come starting to come up on the sides so we're almost back to our second rolling boil and we'll do the same thing we did the first time which is make sure it boils for one minute and then we're gonna start jarring this stuff up this is gonna be fantastic Remove this 
cheesecloth with the rosemary in it, but I actually think I'm going to let it drip for a minute and just let all that come out of there, but that makes it super easy to get that rosemary out. Okay, for this jelly, we're going to be leaving a quarter inch head space. I actually put too much in this one, so we're going to take some out. That one's good. Good. Okay, I'm done jarring everything up. I got seven quarter pints, two half pints. We're gonna go ahead and put this lid on, get this steam canner up to the correct zone for my altitude, and then start our timer. Timer has gone off, so I shut off the burner. I am moving the steam canner over here off of that burner and we are going to set another timer for five minutes and let it rest here before we take the lid off time to take them out make sure when you take this off you lift it up and away from you set this to the side and not on the burner that you just used oh my goodness they're so beautiful Look at that. This is what was left that wouldn't fit in a jar. It is so beautiful. As if you hadn't seen enough of it. Here is a close-up. Oh, my goodness. Oh, yes, that's clumpy jam. Oh, it looks so good. And it is delicious. Okay, I have to have just a little bite. Mmm. That is absolutely... First of all, it's so fragrant. So delicious. You taste the lime... The lime enhances the taste of the rosemary, and then you get those Georgia peaches in there. Ay, 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 vey. Those are, that is so good. Okay, so, it is in this book that I won. It is on page 33. Here, it's actually featured on top of some shrimp. So that looks delicious. It also says that it would be good used as a glaze for shrimp or pork. So, and I plan on doing that with some pork, using this as a glaze for pork. That's going to be amazing. Shh, don't tell anybody. <laughs> okay, guys, that's it. I hope you try this recipe. It is absolutely super simple, very basic. And I hope you have some beautiful fresh peaches in your area that you can use for it. 
So that's it for me here today at Not For Nothing Homestead. Don't forget to hit the like button on your way out the door, please. Take care of you and yours. God bless, and we'll see you in our next video. Don't forget, this is the name of the book. That's it.